Hi, I'm Terry Arnold of the IBC Network Foundation. I'd like to talk to you a little bit sister to sister about a topic that's come up quite a lot lately called standard of care. When I first heard the term standard of care for inflammatory breast cancer, it kind of put me off. I thought, this is how we do it. This is how we've always done it. This is how it's always been done. I didn't really lock in on the word standard, that it was the gold standard, the best practice for treatment for inflammatory breast cancer. So let's talk about what that means. First off, sometimes when you see a paper that was published 10 years ago or five years ago, you might think, oh, that's outdated. That standard of care is reviewed yearly. There are committees that meet of doctors from around the world who look at this and see what is coming out new in um, chemotherapy, radiation, surgery techniques, whatever, to see is there something new, a best practice they can add to the standard of care. If there's nothing new, then the standard is concurred and continued. Or if there's something new, you will see a revision or a, a notation if they can add this or do this. So the standard of care is truly the gold standard, the best practice going forward for this disease. This standard is set by international committees as well as very specialty hospitals. And I attend these meetings, I know this for a fact. I don't have a vote in it, but I get to attend them because often the IBC network is one of the major sponsors of these meetings. So I see the deliberation that's put into creating best practice. The current standard of care for inflammatory breast cancer, the patient stage three, is re give them the chemotherapy, remove the breast with a non-skin sparing radical mastectomy and a full nodal sweep, which is remove all those nodes. And then they go forward into radiation. It could be once a day or twice a day, depending upon that patient's particular need. It is not about convenience for travel. That's a common myth. It is literally about that patient's uh, need. Now, uh, by the way, when you have the surgery, there's no use of implant or preparation for expander or no skin save for future reconstruction. That's a completely separate conversation. Now, what is important to me is when someone's looking at the standard of care, if your physician's offering you anything less than the standard, that might be a red flag for a deeper conversation. Now, outside of that standard, there might be some things you do differently, like say, I wanna remove my healthy breast at the time of the surgery. Standard of care right now does not recommend that because there can be complications, it can get you delayed into radiation, and then you have upset the apple cart or the time frame. Some people think that's um, not really a consideration, but again, the standard of care is set for a reason based on what they see as best practice. And honestly, if it happens to you, it's not gonna be very uh, fun, shall we say, okay? Now, if a patient is stage four, they don't always uh, remove the breast, and that doesn't mean they're not trying to save your life, but maybe that cancer has spread so much that the horse is kind of out of the barn and to remove that breast loses your opportunity, what they call local control. So again, a deeper conversation. The things I want people to understand about standard of care is they are truly a standard of best practice. And then if you're offered something less than the standard, that might be a red flag. If you want to do something outside of the standard, it doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, but talk to your doctor what that really, really means in your long-term wellness. And then again, sometimes people will write me and say, I want to have what you had because you're well. I'm triple negative IBC BRCA positive. If I can tell you something, there are treatment plans that are out there now that weren't there when I was being treated. So there's actually things that are better. Also, treatment is in some ways a little bit like getting a customized shoe. If I had a size 8 custom shoe made for me and you wore a size 8 shoe, it's not going to fit you the same way. It's truly custom. There is room for variance. It's based on your particular need. But again, it shouldn't be less than the standard of care. And be careful about stepping outside of the standard because, again, there's safety in those things. Doesn't mean there's not room, though, for some variation. So I'd like to um, think that maybe some of this conversation is giving you a good way to talk to your doctor about what is the standard and understand that these standards are accepted globally. They're not one hospital standard over the other. They are governed, looked at by higher governing bodies than that. And again, I would love to know your thoughts about what you've done for your treatment for inflammatory breast cancer. Hope always.